by the way, bring you a national television show, the Temple University. Hundreds of students gathered around the alumni circle at the corner of Paulette and Leah Chorus Walks. They came to see MSNBC's Hardball live with Chris Matthews. Matthew says he came to Temple for a specific reason. Oh, it's a good student body. It's diverse and it's, uh, it's urban. And people from Temple are all over this state. I've learned that. It isn't just a Philly school. He was joined by Democratic senatorial candidate Joe Sestak, along with Congressman Bob Brady and Governor Ed Rendell. They spoke about the issues surrounding November's upcoming election. The hardball host says Pennsylvania may have just found their superstar of the future. If Sestak wins here, he's going to be a significant figure. It's a very tough year. It'll never be as tough for him as this year, ever. This is the toughest year. On the show, Matthews and his guests also predicted it to be a long and dramatic election night for the Democrats. There's going to be a lot of famous Democrats giving concession speeches that Tuesday night. You're going to see a lot of faces you've, you've heard about all your life and they're going to lose. MSNBC's Chris Matthews came to Temple University to play a little hardball. So it's one of the few stops he has on his college tour, and he's here to make young people more aware of the issues and to tell them to get out to vote. Historically, you can't count on it, but, uh, you know, everybody's registered, I think, for the last election. You know, if you're 18 last time, you're 20-something now. You should be able to vote. And I don't know, but there's a lot of... Uh, talk about people not voting, maybe that'll get people to vote. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Josh Rotenberg.